In the previous video, we introduced SIWAVE CPA and described different ways of creating PIN groups. We ran a hotspot analysis that automatically produced smart PIN groups. In this part, we'll use these smart PIN groups and extract the power and ground nets of the package. First, let's save the file. Refrain from storing your project several layers deep in your folder structure. Open the Launch CPA dialog. Enter a simulation name. Avoid spaces, special characters, and long file names and paths. We'll use channel setup. Default CPA uses an FEM solver. There is also an option to run Q3D, a method of moments based solver. For this simulation, we'll use default CPA, so leave this option unchecked. Now enter a solution frequency. A good rule of thumb is to pick a frequency that's well below the first resonance of your structure. For packages, 50 MHz to 100 MHz is a safe bet. Choose the model type correctly. Remember, the mesh granularity depends upon your structure. For a printed circuit board, if you set model type to RDL IC, you'll end up with a giant over-refined mesh, so it'll require excessive memory and simulation runtime. For this design, set model type to package. For multiprocessing, it's advisable to specify an even number of cores, 4, 6, 8, 16. At minimum, use four cores. If you know the nets of interest beforehand, just use the current net selection for simulation. Now, include the die in the simulation. For a multi-die structure, include all dies or just those you want. You can also mix and match pin grouping for multiple dies in a single solve. We'll use die groups defined in layout and use the smart pin groups for our single die package. We recommend that you set channel components external to the net list. If you have decaps connected between all the nets, not just the reference net, set them as external to net list so that their terminals are explicitly extracted and their splice models appear in the output folder. The supply voltages for the power domains that you enter during the hotspot analysis are retained here. Launch the simulation. Once the simulation ends, the results window is populated. Right-click the solution, plot pin resistance map AC. Double click the legend to edit the color scale. You can choose either linear or log scale. Observe the plot. We see that the hotspots, that is, the pins with very high resistances, are located along this line near the center of the die. Turn off the BGA balls. If you want to check visibility for some nets, It'll help you detect the source of the hotspots. Let's display only VCC BRAM net. This net is used to power up block RAM memories. Turn on traces on the top layer. Most of the hotspots with resistances nearing 300 milliohms and more are from pins on the VCC BRAM power rail. The high resistance values are due to this power rail's routing style. Thin metal shapes on the top and the initial few layers are responsible for the hotspots. To illustrate, the bumps go down and connect to these narrow metal lines on the top layer. The net then goes through multiple layers and vias and connects to the metal plane on layer 8. Finally, it reaches the BGA. If you track the connection until it goes several layers down to layer 8, this trace is not incident on any metal plane, so these routing constraints on the top cause hotspots in this package.
Now select VCC Int and turn on the top layer. Again, we see the red hotspots for pins connecting to these rather skinny VCC Int metal lines. If you go further left, you can see blue colors indicating lower resistance values. These values are low because the bumps are landing on a metal plane. Similarly, plot the partial inductance map to locate regions of varying values of inductances and hotspots. You can generate an HTML report of the results. The report gives simulation information and results comprehensively. The table of contents lists all sections in the report. The report gives feedback in various forms. It provides RLCG tables, histograms, as well as plots for loop and partial resistances and inductances. An interesting form of graphical feedback in SIWAVE CPA is the PIN RL color map. This is an interactive HTML display. Here, rotate and position the model as you wish. Areas with high resistance values stand out prominently in these plots. The red cylindrical lines in the center show regions of hotspots. When you place your cursor on any of these outliers, the pop-ups identify the nets and components associated with them. These help you locate the pins and verify if you need to improve their placement and routing. To generate an RLCK model, right-click the solution and choose this option. This command creates a zip file of the model for downstream system level analysis in Red Hawk or other tools such as HSPICE. More when we come back in part three.